Hello viewers, data collection is one of the important step in qualitative research. Today, I am going to give you an overview how we can conduct interviews successfully in qualitative research. In qualitative research, the interviews we conduct, we call those in-depth interviews. In-depth, the term allows researcher to get deep answers to the questions from experts to know how and why. Because the interviewer has to engage in a probing conversation with the knowledgeable interviewee or participant. There is no predetermined list of questions in in-depth interviews. Only there is a clear idea about the aspect to explore. The interviewee is allowed to talk freely in relation about the topic. For example, he or she can explain about the events happening in the situation. He or she can tell about the feelings. He or she can also tell about beliefs and perceptions. Why do we use in-depth interviews? Mainly for two reasons, exploring and explaining. We also use in-depth interviews to get initial understanding of the topic or the subject. We also use these types of interviews to figure out questions that will become important as topic grows. Well suited for questions about sensitive, confidential or highly personal topic. There are different types of in-depth interviews. For example, there are face-to-face -face interviews which are one-to-one. -one. Then there are telephonic or you can also conduct interviews on cell phones. Then there are focus groups which is one-to-many. That means you can take interviews from multiple participants at a time. And there are open-ended internet interviews as well. Interview Topology There are basically two main branches of interviews. One is standardized and the other is non-standardized. Under standardized, we prepared questionnaires which administered by interviewer through an interview. The other branch of interviews is non-standardized. This is mainly used in social sciences and in qualitative research. We can divide non-standardized interviews into two further branches, one-to-one -one and one-to-many. One-to-one -one category, you can conduct face-to-face -face interviews, you can conduct telephonic interviews, you can also conduct the interviews on internet. Then there is a type which is called one-to-many. You can also conduct focus groups or group interviews under this branch or you can also have online focus groups which is one-to-many type of interview. Now I am going to tell you which type you need to choose. Viewers, if you need to yield most of the information that go for one-to-one -one interviews. If your participant is at distance, consider telephonic or internet interviews. If time and resources are a major problem, then consider using focus groups which is one-to-many category. Now I'm going to tell you something related to recruiting your participants for the interview. Here are four key steps. Number one is Identify the types of people you need to talk to. This means you need to clearly set out the criteria which participants you need to include and which are you wanted to exclude. Secondly, you need to develop the screening tool. For example, build your interview guide or make a list of your interview questions. But that should be within the framework or within the scope of your research. Then, Select a recruiting method. The key in selecting a method is to pick one that means your sampling needs and that is realistic in terms of time, effort and money. The fourth step is implement the recruitment plan. Here, get number of qualified interviewees you need. Also, consider over recruitment necessary or not. It is important to get 
some over recruitment maybe some of the participants will not be available at the time of interview here are some steps which are needed for preparing an interview number 1 is planning under planning choose a location for in depth interviews considering the following questions where your participants feel safe and comfortable such as that could be their home your home or their workplace or maybe your workplace that can be a location that serve best for actual data collection for example the place should be quiet for recording purpose then timing is also very very important schedule the interviews at times that are convenient to both the interviewee and the interviewer such as you can conduct interviews in evenings or on weekends the next step which is important that is training training for interviewer should include following things review of the research objectives you need to review that the interview guide you developed is according to your research objectives or not then review the recruitment plan and the eligibility criteria review it that all the participants should fall under your sampling criteria also handling of informed consent and incentive is an important step in qualitative research it is important step to get consent from the participants because it involves recording of their voices then interviewing practice and skill building include both role play and critique by colleagues it is suggested that you may conduct a mock interview with your colleagues and they can critique you or they can tell you any mistakes you have done then what is the process of interview it includes three steps number 1 is brainstorming always begin brainstorming possible questions with your participants don't hang up on order of questions or flow you should not follow the written sequence of the questions follow always the logical sequence of the questions if you are working in group generate plenty of questions because many participants are involved then prepare with a good number of questions number 2 is phrasing questions review all questions generated in step 1 which we have just discussed and then choose 20 that address your research objectives that means if you have a shortage of time so at least the 20 most important questions should be separated so you can talk on those 20 questions first and then you can come up with the later which are less important number 3 is sequencing questions here you need to organize and rephrase in order that flows logically for example first of all you can ask warm up questions then you can ask some of the sensitive questions in middle and later on the follow up questions now i'm giving you some of the very effective tips in the end always remain neutral don't show your gestures to your participants that you are shocked on their response or you are surprised prop right questions that means moving from general to specific always practice using the equipment if you are using a recording device always check in the start of the interview and in the middle of the interview that it is working accurate or not checklist of themes no reliance on memory you should not rely on your memory always check that all the themes are covered or not which are written on your interview guide always take notes remember in qualitative research the notes are the backbone of the data you may record the interview you may write the responses or you may audio tape the responses it depends how your participants are comfortable then always take short notes that means elaborate those notes within 24 hours i suggest you the notes you have taken during your interview so transcribe those notes within 24 hours so don't rely on your memory these are some of the effective tips related to interview 
आई होप दिस लेक्चर विल बी बेनिफिशल फॉर यू टोज हु रियली वॉन्टेड टू कंडक्ट इंटरव्यूज इन क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च इफ यू हैव एनी कॉमेंट्स और सजेशंस प्लीज डू राइट इन कॉमेंट्स थैंक यू